Meantime, the first Republican debate is in the books, and Fox and Friends host Brian Kilmeade got the first interviews with candidates moments after they walked off the stage. You have to feel good about your performance tonight. What was your mindset going in, and at what point did you say to yourself, this feels good? I mean, I think my mindset was, how do we go and address the American people and talk to them about the truth of the issues and what we need to do to move America forward? Well, I, I thought we all had a good, vigorous debate. But, you know, frankly, I, I people that know me well know that I'm a fighter. I fight for what I believe in. Oh, I think we're just getting warmed up. I think that we were, we've been doing well in the preseason. The regular season started tonight. We had a nice home run tonight, but I think that we're just getting warmed up and loading up the bases. Brian Kilney joins us now from the original Pancake House just outside Milwaukee. Brian, you were in the middle of it all, and you experienced the candidates right after they walked off stage. So what stood out to you about how they reacted to the night? A couple of things I, I saw that Senator Tim Scott I thought was fine, but he stormed right out uh, after doing a Sean Hannity interview, blew off uh, the spin room, which I thought was odd. Chris Christie did not show up. To me, he didn't have the perfect night, but he had a lot of big nights and big hits. Remember the when he blitzed uh, Vivek Ramaswamy because Vivek came out and said, I got an odd name and I got skinny arms, and I know you, you know, it's hard to say, and he said, but here's who I am. He goes, last person who said that was Barack Obama. The crowd loved it, called me AI candidate, but I do not know why he did not show up at the spin room, but I thought the, the Governor Ron DeSantis had to be solid, and he was. He'll be joining us here live in about two hours, but I thought the biggest surprise to me was Mike Pence got the most time, the most aggressive I've ever seen him in my life, and the most confident, but I thought Nikki Haley, to me, stole the show. I expected her to be strong on foreign policy, aggressive and direct. I did not expect him to say something that, brought, that Donald Trump is the most unpopular politician in the country and can't win and we have to win. Did not expect that. I also didn't expect to rip Republicans on spending, guys. I know everybody has their own ideas and what expectations. So for me, Nikki Haley confident, working all sides, taking on all comers, with a direction, really confident. She had to do well, and I think she did. I'm very curious to see who's going to get the most money pouring in today. Mm. And I also think it's going to be real curious to see if anybody chips into that Donald Trump lead, because to your point on, on Nikki Haley, it's both Carly and I thought, hey, this person definitely landed in the top three. You did a great job doing Tom Rinaldi type stuff, asking candidates like it was an athletic event immediately thereafter. But being on the ground, being with the audience, the people that vote, the people who really matter, what is your sense, Brian, as to who won last night based upon what the audience feels? Uh, I think Vivek is going to make the most headlines. Whether you loved him or you didn't like him, he still was the target. And he's so eloquent and confident uh, and different. He's going to be the story. And like the foreign policy, I think, is absolutely, a lot of his points are ridiculous. They're not practical. Uh, uh, you know, oh, I have to define, uh, we have to uh, give up Taiwan by 2028. When it comes to uh, Ukraine, don't want to spend a dime there, focus on China, as if we can't see the links between Russia and China and uh, how it affects our uh, history, and Israel not getting favored nation status, make them earn it. I think they've earned it. We can talk to Harry Truman about that, had he survived all these years. But uh, he is somebody that people are drawn to, everybody talking about. What I did, too, because I had cable put into my room, uh, I flipped around to other channels when I got back to my room, and I just saw that everybody was talking about Vivek at the end of the night, yeah. and they're talking about what's going to happen to the president tonight. At 8 o'clock, I think, Eastern time, I think somewhere in between, he's going to turn himself in. We're going to see the video. And soon that will swamp the aftermath of this of this big debate uh, over Milwaukee. So the other thing is, uh, it was kind of just cool to see everybody together without Donald Trump. I think they should have relished the moment. Mike Pence said, you know, he should have been here, but it was good to be able to interact and not have every question about Donald Trump. I thought both Brett and Martha, I think you agree, uh, they were great, well prepared. And I think the, I almost said athletes, the politicians respected them. So there was only a few times when they, I felt like they were steamrolling, trying to steamrolling yeah. and take it over the debate. Yeah, it was a great debate. It was definitely policy driven uh, with some jabs back and forth to be expected. And then the next debate is in just 34 days. So they got they brushed the dust off and we're going to see what, whole, what what's in store for no the next debate. For the and if Donald Trump shows up to that one after this debate, Brian, uh, I am sure you will be all over this on Fox and
friends in 10 minutes. Yeah, and I just want to say that I'm at the original Pancake House, but for those who think they invented the pancake, I cannot confirm that. <laughs> but it's the original Don't people that it. said, we have pancakes, let's build a, build a house around it. Sure. So right. I'm going to get approach. to the bottom of this story yes. in Brookfield. The hub of, yeah, the and hub of I'll both, break that down. The hub of both politics and pancakes. Brian, thank you so Thanks, much. Tommy. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart.